Kisenyi suburb, located in Central Division, is one of the most densely populated slums in Kampala City. This place also has many people from different walks of life and countries, including refugees from Somalia, Eritrea, Ethiopia, and South Sudan. Dora's Domiciliary Clinic is a healthy center where thousands go for treatment and midwife-free services. Hundreds of people line up here every day to get services of Margaret Nankabidwa, a midwife who has become a local hero for the work she has done in the community. Sixty-two-year-old Nankabidwa has been working for over 40 years, and here we find her busy attending to several patients. She says she was inspired to join this profession by her elder sister. Uh, I had a sister, our firstborn. She was a midwife. She trained in Barara Midwifery Training School. I, usually, I used to go there and visit her. So I started admiring them. That's how I started. Then I went to the midwifery training school. She says before another health center for was opened in the area, she used to aid a minimum of six mothers and a maximum of nine mothers to deliver babies. The checks she carries out on pregnant women are countless, given the number of people that turn up. <laughs> The services she extends include antenatal checks and monitoring the stages of pregnancies. She also encounters challenges when some of her patients do not have money to pay. Those who don't pay, some of them just live here in Chisenyi. Some of them even don't know their father. They, are, they, are, they, are, they don't know their, their husband, so what? They just get pregnant, they don't know the father's kids. When they come here, they deliver and sometimes they run away. And at times they even leave kids here. You have to go to the police first, then to the baby's home. Eh, processes go along. Mm. Despite the challenges, Nankabira was proud of what she does and she says she has managed to achieve a lot like educating her children. It helped me to pay school fees for my kids, to train them and some of them have admired me, they have joined the course. So when I retire, they are going to take over. <laughs> As Uganda celebrates National Heroes Day, it is prudent that people like Margaret Nankabirwa, who have done good for the community, are remembered for helping thousands of families exist. Story compiled by Sarah Nakandi for CTV PM Edition.